In Finland we have this thing called perkele. A word probably the most familiar to foreigners around the world. Perkele. What it means? Well, we're not going to dive a lot into what it means because Basically, it doesn't matter what it means, because it is only used as a power word in, in Finnish language. Everybody uses it, and foreigners, they love to learn it. Um, for instance, it can be used when you when you meet a friend and you are positively surprised to see that friend, you go like, PERKELE! See it there. And uh, one important thing actually when you use the word PERKELE, and this I have noticed and learned from a lot of uh, English speaking, native English speaking people, because in English language, you don't you don't have the r. So, perkele it, it really doesn't come naturally. So, I think just about every other language have incorporated the r. So for them, it comes easier than to native English speakers. But I have also I I know a lot of <clears throat> native English speakers who have perfected perkele, the r thing. Um, so happy greeting, perkele, right? So it, it goes up like that. Um, disappointment, perkele. Simple. Angry. Perkele. Tone. Different. Um, it can be even in used in endearment situations where you you well not necessarily <laughs> your your mother or father or your you know children. Well depends on their age, but um it can be used like like in a form of a sentence like voi perkele mä rakastan sua which means like god damn how much i love you so it can be used in just about anything um and the emphasis is really on the rrr. um whether you you don't want to overemphasize it either, because if if you overemphasize it, then uh, how does this sound? Perkele. No, it it turns more into like a comedy and perkele. It's not a comedy. It's probably the best best world best word in the whole word world. See, we need to use perkele. Um, also, also, if if there are certain situations like in anger, the p, p in the beginning, uh, it's it's stronger like perkele, like it comes very powerfully. Um, you can use this video to go through, you know, all the all the all the moments where I use the word perkele. How did I use now when I use it in a normal normal uh, sentence? You notice that there doesn't come much weight on the word itself. It just goes on the sentence itself. Like in that sense, it's not a power word. It's like I'm just talking about perkele and that's it. But still, you should always try to remember to keep the R on it. And that that really, um, you do it with your tongue like that.
perkele. Perkele. So, um, happy. Perkele. Angry. Perkele. Sad. Perkele. Disappointment. Perkele. Endearment. Oi perkele. Different ways you can incorporate the word. Um, there will be a lot of videos like these coming up because Finland is full of these cute little things. And um, me personally, as a native Finn, I love I love my country. Um, I don't always understand this whole, you know, the happiest country in the world, you know, Kumbaya, four times in a row. <clears throat> Things are not that well in Finland either, but I think in my in my opinion, Finland is the best country in the world in 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 many aspects. And usually the people who complain about Finland, who are native Finns, uh, they are so used to the fact that, you know, things are the way they are. But if those people were to be thrown in a country where things are exactly the opposite, it wouldn't take very long for them to realize that, oh shit, actually things are pretty okay in Finland. So yeah, we we have we have so many good things going on in this country. Uh, we have our music, we have our nature, we have our beautiful language um, that I am so happy to see that so many people are trying to learn. I mean it is not impossible to learn. You need you need persistence. To learn the language you you want you you really want to learn the language because you're not going to it's not going to take you to places to learn Finnish I mean this language is spoken in one country of five and a half million people so it's not like yeah I, I learned Finnish now I can go to places well you can you can come to Finland but more than that, you don't necessarily get much out of it. So learning the language comes from the love for the country. And I'm going to put, there are a lot of Finland related links like um, Finland Forever, this channel. Uh, this is this is all about Finland in, in general. Um, I'm going to make these videos i'm going to make them more story based like when i'm talking about things there are a lot of things about finland in finlandforever.com um, if you want to learn finnish language i'm going to put links on the description below and uh, yeah it's going to be it's going to be a funny ride perkele so I hope you enjoy it. If you like this video, please subscribe. If you didn't, it's okay. There's always Sweden. Catch you later. Bye bye.